Hello friends, this video on evolution part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we are talking about evolution, it becomes very important to talk about two types of evolution that is micro evolution and macro evolution. So let us see what are each of them. So micro, the word micro itself means small. So that means it is an evolution on a smaller scale. So let's see what it means. It means small changes in a species when preserved over generations can cause a change in the species. So in microevolution, the species still remain the same. They all still remain the same species, but there are some changes which take place over a period of time. But it doesn't happen that the organism altogether become a different species. So that much of change does not take place. So the change takes place in a, on a smaller scale therefore they still remain a part of the same species with some changes in it so let us take an example let us take the example of sparrows now sparrows are found in different parts of the world now it has been observed that the sparrows which are found in North America and the sparrows which are found in South America they are quite different from each other the sparrows which are found in North America are larger and darker when compared to the sparrows which are found in South America so these are the sparrows found in North America and these are the same sparrows which are found in South America but it has been observed that these sparrows are larger in size they are also darker in color when compared to the sparrows which are present in South America so why do we see these changes so here also we see that this larger size of the sparrow help it to cope up better with the cold weather and on, on this location the weather is more cold so therefore it can survive better in the lower temperatures so as a result they are larger and they are also darker in color whereas it is just the opposite in case of the sparrows and that is why they are smaller in size and they are lighter in color as well so this is an example of micro evolution so here changes have taken place so both these sparrows would have come from the same species and they still belong to the same species but some changes have taken place for example their size have changed their color have also changed but still they belong to the same species so this is an example of microevolution. So now we talk about macroevolution. Macro means big. So macro is big. So the evolution here is going to happen on a bigger scale. So here what happens is multiple small changes in a species when preserved over several generations can give rise to a new species altogether. So here the changes become so much. There are so many multiple changes that you end up having a different species altogether. So in the previous example, you saw the sparrows, right? So the sparrows of North America and South America, even though they look different they are physically different but still they can reproduce amongst themselves because they belong to the same species but when we talk about macro evolution here the changes become too much that they they cannot even reproduce with each other so they become two completely different species so let us look at an example of macro evolution so one of the best example of macro evolution would be the dinosaurs now it was observed that dinosaurs which became extinct almost around 65 million years ago so they became extinct that time it was observed that there were certain dinosaurs which 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 were like the reptiles which were like the land reptiles but they were facilitated with um, feathers and wings and because of which they they had the ability to uh, they could fly so there it, it could be imagined that they might fly because they had the tail and the feathers which were little similar to birds so from these dinosaurs gradually came up the birds so gradually the flightless birds and then the birds which were capable of even flying and even these birds underwent changes over a period of time now if you look at this bird now this is also an evolution so over a period of time this changed into this again this changed into this and this changed into this but if you compare this bird with this dinosaurus do you think that they belong to the same species 
Definitely not. They do not belong to the same species. So not only comparing this bird with this, but even if you compare these two birds, they also belong to a different species altogether. So they cannot interbreed. So this is an example of macro evolution. For example, think of the example of the Darwin's finches. So there also we saw that a group of finches came to that island. But over a period of uh, several years, it was found that that one particular species of bird it gave rise to almost 13 to 15 species of finches. So those 13 to 15 species of finches actually evolved from one species of finches. So they were all small, small changes, which when taken together, brought a lot of changes, change in that organism due to which that organism became a different species altogether. So that is known as macro evolution. So these are the two categories of evolution. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.